Now today I'll be showing you how to update your Snap-on scanner using your computer at home. So first, first thing you gotta do, open the scanner case. Wait, where'd it go? Hold on. One, two, Alex is it? What? It's still gone. Wait a second. Let's try this again. There it is. <clears throat> I have my Ethos Edge scan tool from Snap-on. I have my USB port that's connected to my computer. And I have my external power. All provided by Snap-on. Not sponsored. First things first. I want to make sure that scanner does not die. Always connect it to external power whenever you're updating your computer. You're updating the software, I mean, not the computer. Then plug in the USB. As you see here, I have software 18.4. Yes, I know it's 2021. I no longer work in a shop. I no longer need the newest updates. So uh, next I'll go to tools. Please wait, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, connect. I can configure shortcuts, connect the PC, look at the information, go to settings. Right now, I just want to go to connect the PC. Device is now connected to PC. So now, we wait. What do you know? Ethos Edge. The software that I'm using right here is called Shop Stream Connect. It's made by Snap-on, and I will leave a link for it in the description below. I've tried recording on my screen on my computer. I am technologically an idiot, so I'm just gonna use my phone. To update the Snap-on scanner using Shop Stream Connect to Snap-on software, you go up here to Tools, go to Update Software. You can either update Shop Stream or update your Ethos Edge scanner. Now here it says shop stream connect will now check for updates for the following. My ethos edge, do you wish to continue next? There's no terms and conditions. So it's not like South Park where they can come and punch you in the face afterwards. Shop stream connect and not find any updates. I just updated my scanner. So there's not going to be any updates available. If there was, they would say what updates are available. Would I like to install them? Uh, what the updates consist of? And I'll click next or continue. But since there's nothing there, I click finish. Now, if you work in a shop and you want and you continuously use Shop Stream Connect and you want to print stuff out for customers, you can click up here to tool. You can go to options, edit your shop information. Now, I no longer work for a shop. I just have this scanner for myself. I used to work for a shop when I bought the scanner I did. So I no longer need this. But if I work for a shop, I could say, hey, Hey shop, my zip code is one two one four or one four seven eight five. I have no idea if that's a real zip code. My phone number is nine one one. My city is Scranton, Pennsylvania, because I love the office. And anytime you print something out off a of shop stream, this information is going to be in the header. So if customer, if you print something out for the customer. And the customer takes that information home. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember this shop. This shop was awesome. And you can see all the information saved from your scanner. If you work on a customer's car and you want to save like a picture of a misfiring cylinder or AC clutch not working or EVAP solenoid not opening or anything like that, you can. You can. And you can actually view it on here and print it out. You can print out up to 16 graphs, maybe more if you have a better scanner. If you have a scope, you can see the scoped information. I don't have that money, so I, I can't afford that. So I don't have that capability. But if you have um, saved something on here, you can view it on your computer away from the scanner. And this is it going, this is the graphs going over through time. And as you see over here, you can see as I'm scrolling what's selected and what's not selected. Now, if you want to go back, which you can, and you can see your serial number, 
the bundle number, which is the software that you have. I have 18.4.1 because I no longer work in a shop. I no longer need the newest software, the software update, which I just updated and my subscription status. Since I said a million times, I no longer work in a shop. I'm not subscribed. Now, if you work in a shop and you're constantly working on newer vehicles, I would highly recommend that you get the subscription up for the software instead of having to pay $500 each year or $1,000 each year, forget what it is, for that software. You can update it. You just pay it weekly or monthly for that software update. That's really going to help you out in the end. When I worked at a shop, I did. Since I worked at a dealer, but for the second half of my career as a mechanic. And that's really it, how you update your software. You just go there, boom. Next. No updates available, all done. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to drop that like, those comments, those questions, those concerns. And Happy New Year. Don't forget to follow and share this video.